Thanks for checking out the video today. It's a beautiful winter day out here in Oklahoma. Uh, must be, oh, in the mid 40s out here at the ranch. And of course, you can see I've got my buddy Maverick here with me. But I want to talk about something really important that I've been seeing quite a bit. And that is a lot of talk about how much that God loves us, which is true, which is important, but we also have to look at the other side of this coin, and that is, do we, do you and I, love God? And that's a question that a lot of people are really not looking at. They're not uh, taking into account. They're, they're saying, well, God loves me so much, I'm unblameable. In other words, uh, because God loves me so much, I can do whatever I want, live however I want, uh, conduct myself, behave however I want. But the Bible teaches us in John 14, verse 15, that if you love him, you're going to keep his commandments. That's something that Jesus taught again and again. And even the apostles taught that is if we love God, then we're going to do that which is pleasing in his sight. And so much of the time, we're, we're talking so much about how God loves us, which is true. Please don't get me wrong. But do we love God? Because it's our actions that send a silent message to God that we love him we can say and we can draw near with our mouth but yet our heart be far from god we can be talking so much about how much god loves us but yet in our actions in our behavior are we obeying or are we disobeying god because that is what determines whether we love him or not and so we we have to look at both sides of the coin we can't just accept one truth and then deny all the other truths that are in the bible uh, just because something's popular, just because something uh, is on TV, books written about, uh, just because there's large crowds at some of these gatherings does not make something so or not. Uh, it's what does the Bible say. And Jesus said that if we love him, we're going to keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. He tells us exactly what his commandment is and that we love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have loved one to another, John 13, 34, and 35. It's not the Ten Commandments that we're to keep. It's the one commandment of the law of love. That's the New Testament. That's the new covenant that we have. Isn't that right, Maverick? And so that's the law that we're to live by. That's the commandment that we're to live by, and that's the law of love. And so that's how we demonstrate to God. That's how we demonstrate to others that we love God, that we're followers of Him, and not just fans of God. See, there's a lot of people that they're just a, a fan of God, but we need to make sure that we're not just fans, but that we're followers. See, a fan is someone that might know all the statistics. Uh, they might know, uh, you know, some facts, some details, information about God. But to really know him and to really be a follower of God, it means that we're obeyers, that we do what God says to do in his word. And that's the real difference. That's what uh, you know separates the, the, the carnal Christians from those that are maturing in the Lord and following him. God's got a wonderful plan for us. He's got a, a divine destiny for each and every one of us. But yet, it's God's will, it's His desire that we obey Him, that we walk in love towards one another, that we be imitators of God as dear children, and not just talking so much about how much God loves us, which He does, don't, don't get me wrong. But yet, the, the real truth that, that we want to focus on for just these few minutes is, are we following Him? Are we obeying Him? Because that's what He asked of us, is that not only that we abide in Him, but that we follow him, that we're obeyers of him. And by so doing, we begin to walk in the greater blessings of God. Amen? God bless you. Did you know you're a movie star now? Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. This is Maverick. He's going to help me make the video today. Aren't you?